Good morning. My name is Jackie Newbrook and this is my colleague Angela McCarthy. And your names are? Magali. And Andrea. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Thank you. First of all, we'd like to know something about you. Where are you from, Magali? I'm from Switzerland. And what do you do there? I'm studying. I've just finished uh, high school. Okay. And Andrea, where are you from? I am from Mexico. And how long have you been studying English? And I've been studying English about five to six years now. And what are your interests in leisure activities? In leisure activities, well, I like to go out with my friends. I like to go out to the cinema. I like clubbing. I like also spending time just out walking and enjoying my friends. And how important is sport and exercise in your life, Magali? Mm, I think it's very important. Uh, I like horse riding and I do some competition and I think it's very important to keep uh, wealthy. Mm. And what do you hope to be doing this time next year? Mm, I hope to be passing my exams <laughs> in university. And Andrea, how might you use your English in the future? Well, I think English right now it's really important. And I think I will use it in my career, in, in, in a normal life also. And it could help me to get to know other people and to get a better job, mm -hmm. maybe. Which countries would you most like to visit? I think I would love to go to Australia. I think the, the nature, it has beautiful beaches. And I think it would be really interesting to go there. And which part of your country would you recommend to tourists? Mm, the French parts, because uh, I think it's uh, near the France and it's uh, easier to go from one country to another. And uh, France is very appreciated by tourists. So, Which part of the day do you enjoy most? Mm. In the, the night if I'm going out, uh, otherwise the afternoon. And what do you like to do at weekends? Um, I like to go out or horse riding or cinema and meet my friends mm -hmm. to talk and have a drink. Now, Andrea, what do you do to relax? Well, I like to watch movies or sometimes just spending time with my friends make me relax to talk to them or maybe sleeping, it's quite relaxing for me. And do you prefer to follow a routine or do you like to do something different every day? I like to try new things, but I also think routine for me, it's, it's really important. I like to be in, in, in some ways, I like to do my, always my homework, my breakfast, have like a really good routine, I Thank like. You. Now in this part of the test, I'm going to give each of you three pictures. I'd like you to talk about them on your own for about a minute and also to answer a question briefly about your partner's pictures. Magali, it's your turn first and here are your pictures and they show children playing different games. I'd like you to compare two of the pictures and say why the children enjoy games like these and what children might learn from playing them. Okay. All right. Um, in the first picture, we can see two children with their parents, and they are playing uh, Monopoly or something. It's a game which uh, is played uh, in a team, uh, like the second one. Um, but the second one, I think it's uh, more helpful to uh, become friends uh, with uh, your teammates. Uh, whereas the first one, uh, I think it's uh, more to relax uh, after a day of school with your parents and um, maybe discuss with your family and get closer with them. And the second one is more uh, about your so social life. Um, I think uh, uh, the children like uh, football because it's very famous. Uh, Thank you. I'm sorry. Andrea, which game do you think the children seem to be enjoying the most? 
I think in this picture, I think the football game and young people, young children enjoy playing football. It's a really common sport for them. Thank you. Now, Andrea, here are your pictures. And they show people expressing different feelings. I'd like you to compare two of the pictures and say what feelings are being expressed and what might have made the people feel like this. All right? Okay, for in, in this first picture, there's a lady who looks really anger, really, really stressed. Maybe she's late for work and she falls asleep and she has a meeting, maybe. In this other picture, and she looks like a girl who is really relaxed. Maybe she's enjoying off a holiday in a famous city, and she's just th taking the sun, or maybe having a drink. And they are expressing their feelings the way they feel in the moment. And maybe the way they feel in that moment is because they they because they are past actions. And I think, and, the, and there are different situations. In one, it's really stressful, and in this one, it's really relaxed. And every time, all of us have different experiences, these ones. Thank you. Magali, which picture do you think shows the person's feelings most clearly? Mm, I think in the first one, she looks very angry and very stressful and uh, even the, the crockery around her uh, shows the stress and disorder, I think. Thank you. Can I have the book, please? Thank you. Now, I'd like you to talk about something together for about three minutes. And here are some pictures showing different kinds of weather conditions in the world. First, Talk to each other about how the weather conditions can affect people's lives. Then decide which two kinds of weather conditions could have the most harmful effects. All right? Okay. Well, I think in, in all of them, the conditions affect the way that people behave. I think, for example, in this first one, the kids can't enjoy the same as in a sunny day, in a summer day, with the sun. And everything, and here they have to be and calm down with their raincoat. What do you think? Yes, I think um, if it's a rainy or sunny day, it can uh, affect a lot your mood. Uh, everybody's more cheerful and happy when it's sunny. <clears throat> also, for example, I think in this one, people can't enjoy their lives because everything it's it's float. So. And they should be really worried about their house, their belongings, everything. Yeah. Um, I think this one, it uh, must be very difficult for this old man or woman. He can't barely walk. And um, yeah, I think it's a really extreme situation. Yeah, really extreme so life. you can enjoy your normal life in that. Yeah. In this condition, I think people can be really relaxed and really peaceful and they can enjoy their life because it's really good weather. They can enjoy the beach and maybe their family and spend time together. Yeah, but I think sometimes it's like that, but in some tropical weather, uh, sometimes it may get like that or or tsunami or things like that can happen, so. It could be. Yeah. Also, I think maybe a tornado, It's affects a lot of the way that people live yeah. because it also destroyed uh, as the floating yeah. it's really extreme yeah. also i think this dessert for example i think it's not a really good place to live because there's a lot of hot maybe a lot of people die because of the extreme weather yeah. and the lightning i think also it's really dangerous because you can be outside enjoying of your time. And you can destroy your house too if it... Uh... So which one do you think it's the most harmful for the people? Mm. For me it might be the flooding, I think, because uh, you, lo you lose everything. For me too also, I think it's the worst way because you can lose everything, your, yeah. your home, 
maybe your pets, your all your personal belongings. Yeah. And also, I think any extreme situation and have a really harmful effect on people's life. Yeah, of course. What else do you think? Mm. Thank you. Can I have the booklet, please? What advantages or disadvantages are there in living in a country which has seasons? Well, in, in my case, I live in Mexico and we have all the seasons. So in all the time of the years, we can enjoy from going out and taking the sun to, and I don't know, enjoy the raining in autumn, maybe it's not too hot and not too cold. And disadvantages, I think also people, one of the disadvantages is uh, people got sick maybe because uh, change of the climate. But for me, I think I really enjoy all the seasons of the year. Would you agree? Yes, uh, I think a disadvantage is, uh, for example, in spring and in autumn, there is uh, a lot of changing weather uh, within uh, the few days. So one day you can be hot and uh, the other it's raining and you are cold and your body doesn't have many time to, to adapt. So I think it's a disadvantage, but at the same time you can enjoy uh, um, winter sports and summer sports, which is good. You can uh, stay healthy all around the year, being different things. Some people's idea of happiness is a lazy summer's day. Why do you think this is? I think uh, it's because uh, you are most of the time in holiday in summer and the sun makes you happy and uh, you don't have any worries, you can just relax and lay on the sun and it can be very good and relaxing. How about you? Yeah, for me I think it's also the same in the weather of hot being, it gives you relaxed and you can be more comfortable and you don't have worries about anything, you just can sit down and enjoy a cold drink or something. Why do people spend time sunbathing when they're told it's so bad for their health? Well, I think in my case, I'm one of them because I, I love in lying on the sun. For example, a few days ago, I lie in the sun. I think it's bad for my health, but I try not to get in too much time there. I think if we do it in periods of time, it's not really dangerous. And also for our appearance, it's really good to look maybe brunette, to look pretty. It's important for me, I think. Do you agree? Mm, yeah, I think nowadays it's very fashionable to be brown and everything. Uh, whereas uh, in the old days, maybe you had to be maybe whiter and everything. But um, I think, yeah, because it's a bit prohibited, or not prohibited, but uh, people like to do things against uh, the law or something. Mm -hmm. And some people say more should be done to prevent global warming. What's your opinion? Well, I think we could do as by our own, we could do a lot of things with our family at school. We can do campaigns of recycling and taking care more of the water and, I don't know, don't, don't throwing in garbage in the streets. And also, I think global war warming, it's a, it's a really bad situation that we are living now nowadays. So I think we can do a lot of things. Makali, what yeah, I agree with Andrea. I think uh, if everybody did uh, a little thing uh, to help the environment, it would be great and uh, maybe create some days without cars and without plane uh, taking off or something like that. I think it would be, it would help. Thank you. That's the end of the test.